Hey, how you doing? It's me, Kevin Clark. It's a privilege and an honour to be serving you at such a time as this. And you know, um, I was recording and Benny Hinn came to mind in his book, um, Good Morning Holy Spirit. And let me tell you something. That book blessed me so much in such a way where my style of reading, everyone has different styles of reading which suits them best and whatnot. And what I like is I like to have big words right in front of me. Um, I've got a setup, a Kindle basically, um, Fire TV Kindle. And I've got the Good Morning Holy Spirit on PDF. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll share that with you as well. You can go to my website and download it. Um, but that book, I searched vigorously for that book and I've got that book and um, the moment I started reading the book I couldn't stop and I stayed up like overnight reading this book like wow wow Ben Hinn speaking about um, just his history you know as a young boy the things he had to go through his family not believing in him and Ben Hinn just seeking for the truth wanting to know God more wanted intimacy with God and then the Holy Spirit the person the Holy Spirit starts coming into his life and Benny Hinn's going through a lot of experiences because he used to go to um, um, conferences by the um, held by a lady called Catherine Kuhlman a dynamic woman of God you know a general in the in the faith who's now moved on she's gone home and um, Benny Hinn basically connected with Catherine Kuhlman and um, Catherine Kuhlman was so passionate about the person of the Holy Spirit and how we need to get closer to the Holy Spirit more intimate with the Holy Spirit how important the Holy Spirit is on earth today the most important person on this planet and how the Holy Spirit has been placed in the corner you know and people just think about Father and the Son, which is excellent. But then there's the Holy Spirit who guides us into all truth at such a time as this. And we need the Holy Spirit. And as I'm reading this book, I'm like, wow. I had these feelings of, you know what, Holy Spirit, you've been there for me all this time. You're so gentle, yet so powerful. And I've not known you as much as... I, I need to know you and I ought to know you and things and I just felt really um, I wouldn't say bad but this is a thing ignorance something can be right near you yet you can be so far yeah somebody can be right near you yet you can be so far information can be right near you, yet you can be so far. And as I say that, I think about realms. Just because you can't see something with your natural eyes, it doesn't mean that it's not there. The wind blows, but you can't see the wind, but you can feel the effect of the wind. Yeah. So dogs hear a frequency that humans don't hear with a natural ear. So there's a lot going on that we can't see with the with our natural eyes. But with our spiritual eyes, once we are active and we can see, that's when things become much more clearer. Clarity is power. If you can see, you know where you're going. If you know where you're going, you're not lost. If you can't see, you're ignorant. That's what ignorance means. Darkness. If you're in the dark, you can't see. If you can't see, you don't know where you're going. If you don't know where you're going, you're blind. So picture yourself in a dark room, feeling yourself around like, oh, you're afraid, fear. Now you don't even want to take a step, do you? You even start thinking that more, there's more obstacles and things going on than there is, like, you know? So an acronym which I love to use for fear F-E-A-R is false evidence appearing real. 
F E A R. And I love that. Um because God's paid the, Jesus Christ has paid the price and everything else. Fear can't hold us captive. We're set free from fear if you're in Christ born again. We're new creatures. Yeah? In Christ. How? By asking Jesus Christ to come into our life. Believing that He died for us and that He rose from the dead. For when we believe that with our heart and confess that with our mouth, we'll be saved. Yeah, first step. And then we start reading the word and developing much more of a relationship, staying around other believers, sharpening ourselves up. The Bible says, iron sharpeneth iron. Yeah, and that's what we need to do and continue to grow and continue to know the Lord and develop that intimacy with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's a lovely person. So that book, Good Morning Holy Spirit, you need to read it if you haven't read it. And if you have read it, read it again and again and again. Because it's just amazing. There's around 243 pages or 46 pages in there. And at the end, it goes through some brief questions just to bring things back up to your remembrance. Little tester, which is excellent. Brilliant book. And it's one of them books where I've often heard about the book. Um, but, you know, not read it. But the moment, I tell you, the moment I read that book, that was it. The Holy Spirit just... There was just much more intimacy after reading that book. So, And also, when you read the book, do follow the instructions. Don't look at the book as, oh, it's just a book. It's not. It's a time of intimacy. God's going to speak to you through that book. So what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description box, which will take you to the page on my website where you can download the book okay so i hope you've been blessed by this broadcast that's it from me kevin clark believing in you and remember it's all about jesus i love you god bless subscribe by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel because i want us to stay connected all right see ya bye